360. Hey guys, it's Elisa and it's our third day in here in Palma. Today we will uh, plan to take it easy and just visit one landmark, which is Cathedral, very famous uh, landmark here. It's just five minutes walk from our apartment. By the way, how do you like our apartments? I'll probably will attach some clear and polished videos about it, but as you can see, we already accommodated it. So uh, it's a little bit trashy. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, maybe we'll go and do some souvenir shopping. <laughs> On the website to cathedral, I think it is 20 euro for a ticket. Yeah, I think it's 20 euro. I will link down below in the description the website for the cathedral so you can uh, book the tickets yourself. It's so much better to do it in advance. Uh, I will tell you why later in the video. So Palma Cathedral has uh, pretty many names. The full name is the Cathedral of Santa Maria of Palma and it's Gothic Roman Catholic Cathedral which is located in the capital of Mallorca. It is uh, famous for its architecture inside and outside and also that Gaudi was participating in uh, until he had some argument with a contractor and he stopped. We arrived 30 minutes earlier because I wasn't sure how many people will go and I just didn't want to experience too many people at once. And I think it was a great idea because uh, we were first group to enter the cathedral and it, it was not crowded at all. Since we arrived earlier and the church service was still there, so we decided to explore around the cathedral. The great thing about this historic area is that this is just real houses that people live in now. As you can see, they even managed to park their cars on these narrow streets. <laughs> It's time for us to go back because uh, you book the ticket for a certain time that you can enter. As you can see, I put my short on me because I saw the sign about revealing clothes, but it ended up uh, working fine. A lot of people were having much more revealing clothes than me and they didn't cover. Four minutes. Yeah, and uh, we're probably gonna struggle to go up. <laughs> when buying a ticket to Cathedral of Palma, 
uh, you have several options you can just visit inside of the cathedral or you can book a combo ticket with a terrace option which you can go up and see the uh, city and the sea area from the uh, height basically <laughs> That was so many people just in the beginning when we went up. Afterwards, uh, you couldn't really see these people. But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that in the winds is bliss Take me back to before the noon Rewind, take it out of cue And this sense can be a young man's game Signed up for the hall of shame I wish I knew How much I miss It was really cool to explore and the weather was really nice for this day and it's a pretty spacious place so you can take a lot of photos. Well, as I mentioned before we bought uh, tickets online and there is a special entrance which is on the seafront where you have to go if you have tickets online. Uh, they also mentioned like uh, modest clothes but honestly most of the people were wearing very casual so shorts are acceptable unless you just do you know swimsuit or something of course you will not be allowed after we experienced cathedral we were super hungry and we were heading to chinese restaurant we love going to our asian restaurants when we travel everywhere especially in spain there are plenty of chinese restaurants and i love chinese food uh, and it was very good and cheap you know we paid around 28 euro for lots of food i think we had four or five dishes they had plenty of authentic food especially the one i really liked jellyfish salad so yesterday we went to Chinese restaurant here in Palma but I was surprised they had a quite uh, big menu in the restaurant uh, we ordered quite a lot of food so we uh, have takeaway today uh, I want to present you some of the food uh, this is quite unique and I haven't tried this one for a very long time and it's jellyfish as you can see, we don't have much left because I ate it before. But yeah, um, it's not just jellyfish as you can uh, think about. It's uh, there is some. Uh, what is it though? Is it a cucumber? I think it's a cucumber, right? Cucumber, jellyfish, and then the most important is sauce. Sauce is based on vinegar or something, uh, and it's a cold dish, so don't heat it up. Uh, here is a piece of. Uh, here is out the here's a piece of jellyfish and I don't know you can hear it but it's crunchy they also add some sugar in the sauce so it's actually mm, the jellyfish itself doesn't have much taste to be honest but because of the sauce it tastes vinegary and uh, sweet uh, it kind of reminds me of uh, harbin salad the one that was very common in uh, far east of russia because we have a lot of chinese food so harbin salad is like go to we love it but we don't have jellyfish in there it's we'll have some our typical sweet and sour some fried rice and we also have a uh, gumbao chicken I didn't, uh, I didn't approve it completely because I don't taste any Sichuan pepper in it. I don't think it's there, but it's like a variation. Obviously, it's hard to get Sichuan pepper in uh, Spain. So, and we have also sour, sweet. Is it spicy and sour? 
spicy and sour soup, I think. That's all for day three in Palma de Mallorca. Uh, we are actually heading somewhere else in the next video. I hope you enjoy and please like and subscribe to the video and my channel. Thank you very much. See you.